Hey guys, Anthony Pichapona here back with another video. And in today's video, we're just going over the trades I made. We had the VIX spike like crazy because of the S&P selling off and uh, all growth stocks kind of get hit hard. But then we've seen a nice rebound near the end of the day. So I just want to share all the trades I made because they sold a lot of premium, lots of strangles, lots of puts, lots of calls, because when the VIX goes up, you collect more money in premium. Before we dive into the charts, if you're looking to build your wealth in the stock market with options trading, day trade or swing trading, you're going to want to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button at the end if you appreciate it, and let's dive into the charts now. Today we saw Tesla push up to 1180 near the open and then sell off all the way down to a low of about 1062. Bouncing back, getting bought up all the way to 1113 so far. And we're a few minutes away from market close, it's 3.55 p.m. We're gonna go over the trades I made. So take a look at the VIX. We saw the VIX spike up to about 21. That's a new high in the last month or so. So because of that, when the VIX goes up, you can collect more premium when you sell options. This is why I sold some strangles on the SPY and I sold some strangles on other stocks. So we're gonna cover all those positions that I opened up today and in the previous days as the VIX has been ramping. On the four hour chart for the SPY, this is what you're seeing. We saw the open up, push around 470 and then a big dump, little bounce already back to green on the day. Meanwhile, individual stocks got hit so hard. A lot of things down 10, 20, 15% on the day. But now into market close, we're seeing a rally getting back to green for a lot of the, the names that were in deep red. So in terms of positions, uh, one of the positions yesterday I set and I added more today was the strangle for SPY. I'm selling the 429 put and the 500 call, which basically means I believe SPY will be anywhere between 429 and 500 by December 17th. So that's about three weeks away. And I did 60 contracts and collected about $9,500 for this. You'll see that we're due for a correction for sure. What's possible is that we actually just trade sideways and range bound instead of having a savage 10%, 20% pullback. But I, I definitely do think we're gonna get that 5% pullback at least. So a 10% pullback from highs on the SPY would bring us all the way down to just past my strike, which is 426. We may come down and have a double bottom around that 430 level, may dip down to 429, but have see strong support to get pushed back up. And the expiration is December 17th. The 50 day moving average is at 449, and there's strong support at the 430 level. So basically, at the end of this line is December 17th. I personally don't believe that if we did get hit really hard with a correction, that it would be maximum 10% and this support would hold at around the 430 level by December 17th. And that's relatively reasonable. And on the top end, the calls I sold was the 500 call. I didn't collect much premium at all for these. Basically all the premium I got was, was down here because the market makers are pricing in some downside after such a huge rally. The next trade is on a firm. It's the 100 strike put and the 170 strike call strangle. We sold 30 contracts and we collected $1.24 per contract. This was set yesterday and we've collected 3,600 for this one and it is expiring December 3rd. So less than two weeks and we collect 3.6k usd a firm had a nice dump all the way down to 120 today and then got bought up a bit now we're at 127. i talked about a firm on previous videos where i saw that we were having some topping formation losing some strength and we're, we're due for some downside and this is basically the, the strangle i have right here so we believe the 100 level will hold by december 3rd and that's the end of this line right here if we zoom in on that basically we don't think that a firm is going to make a new high between now and december 3rd which is right here and we had a decent amount of consolidation around that 110 level so if 110 doesn't hold then we're banking on the 100 level so we'll follow this one uh, closely. We have uh, less than two weeks left until expiration. Another trade I put on a few days ago was the riot strangle, 28 put 60 call strangle. This was actually a trade from one of my previous videos. If you look back where I talked about a few different options, uh, one of the trades was riot and one of the trade was lucid. I put on both trades. So this is this exact trade here, 30 contracts expiring December 3rd. And we collected $3,700 for this one expiring in less than two weeks. Riot's up 8% on the day. It was really looking bad. Riot sold off to $33 today and it had a savage recovery back from deep red to deep green all the way up to $36 per share. These are the two lines of the triangle. Up All the way up here is 60, all the way up here is 28. So we believe that Ryan's gonna trade between these two lines. There's a lot of support at that 28 level. It could drop down to the 26 level, but that would only be if Bitcoin dropped well below 50,000. And as long as Bitcoin is above 50,000, then we're not gonna see Riot drop below 28 or down to 26. I capped in some possibility for upside by selling the 60 strike 
and this one will likely expire worthless. The other one is the Lucid Strangle, 35 put and 70 strike call. Again, from our previous video, 20 contracts. We collected $2 per contract, so we collected 4,000 US for this trade, and we put it on a few days ago. So this was a two weeks in total duration. Lucid is sitting at $52 now, and it's kind of stair-stepping. It's going sideways now. Had to sell off and rebound. We're, we're just consolidating. Here are two lines. We have the 70 strike up there. We have the 35 strike down here. So we don't believe that Lucid will drop below 35 in the next week. And we don't think that Lucid will go above 70 in the next week. We'll see how this one plays out. But again, feeling great about this one. Another trade we put on yesterday was on Tilray. Once it sold off to about the $10 level, we put on 100 contracts with a short strangle selling the nine put and the 15 strike call. And we collected a total of 1200 US dollars for this trade, expiring in about a week and a half. Till right here is about flat on the day, $10.50. Here's the 15 strike call, here's the nine strike put. We're seeing a huge sell off just after we took profits on our trades a week ago. And it looks like the marijuana rally did not last. Um, you know, it, There's still time for us to push up again, but as it looks for now, there is no reason for us to really think that we're gonna push up and break this uh, 1350 level. What we're looking for is the $10 level to hold. If it doesn't hold, then when we zoom out, we can see that there was some resistance and some consolidation at the high eights and the high nines. So there is some, there was some buying here in the mid eights to the mid nines. That's why we're banking on the $9 support level holding if the $10 level breaks in the coming week. Another trade we put on yesterday is Roblox, the 90 strike put and the 150 strike call. We are sold both 10 contracts worth for 3,400. Just a few days ago, Roblox hit the all time high of 140, had a huge sell off since then and just closed the day out just below 115. It's really extended. We don't think that Roblox will make a new high in the coming week. And if it does, we gave it some room to run up to the 150 level, a nice round number for resistance. And on the downside, the only real resistance that Roblox had hit before this insane parabolic rally is the $90 level. And there's not much support on the downside. Previous resistance becomes support. So each time we see Roblox push up that 90 level and sell off, that gives us more evidence that it's highly likely that it can act like a support in the future. So that's why we put the level down here and chose the 90 strike put with the 150 strike call. Again, this one expires in one week, so we'll see how this one plays out. Another one is on QuantumScape, December 3rd expiration as well, 28 strike put, 44 strike call, 30 contracts. We collected $2,200 for placing this trade on yesterday and total time was about a week and a half because it expires next Friday. Basically, we had just been selling off ever since the start of the year and then had a nice rally on, along with all the EVs and then past few days have been selling off again consistently. With that, we saw the volatility very high. We believe the whole EV sector is gonna cool off and not make new highs in the near term. So because of that, I chose the 44 strike here just above the highs of the recent rally and we continue to sell off, which is great. And then we are expecting that 28 level to hold as, as support because again, we saw some resistance here early September, saw some resistance again, broke through it. And earlier we had some consolidation in around the 28 to $30 level. So because of that, we think that in the next week, we will likely not drop below the $28 level. If we do, then that's okay. You also say the 50 day moving average creeping up here, it's currently at about 27.67. And in a day or two, it'll creep up to about 28. So there, that's highly likely due for a bounce around the 50 day level. This could likely expire worthless, but again, we'll follow along and see how it plays out. Next trade we put on just a couple hours ago, it was a short strangle using the remainder of our buying power expiring in three days. Friday, the 26th on Riot, we are selling the 30 puts and the 41 strike call. This is a very tight range, especially for Riot because it can typically move five to 10% on a daily basis. So within two days, it's highly likely to move outside one of these strikes. Now I have a lot of shares of Riot because I sold puts earlier and got exercised at the $38 level. So because of that, I chose the $41 strike. Basically, I could see Riot going to 40 if Bitcoin has a nice boost over the next coming days. And it's definitely possible. And if it does that, then I'm gonna be okay with that because my shares of Riot will be in the profit and then I could take profits around that $40 level and then close one out for a loss, the call side out for a loss and have no problem with it because I am a little more call bias with Riot since I have shares of Riot at $38 per share. So I use the remainder of my buying power and collected $8,800 for this one. 
17 contracts expiring in a few days because the range is so tight and the volatility is so high. Again, when we look at Riot on the daily chart, this is where these two lines come into play. So this is what I set today. $30 put strike, $41 call, definitely possible to push up to that $41 level, definitely possible to push down to that $30 level. However, we have the 50 day moving average coming in above 30. So I really think that $30 level could hold in the coming days. What I'm not so sure on is the $41 level. I think it's possible that we push up and maybe double top around that $45 level in the next few days, but we'll follow along and see how this one plays out and hopefully it expires worthless. Next trade is on NEO. I put this trade on yesterday. It's the 36 strike put and the 49 strike call short strangle expiring next week, December 3rd. We did 30 contracts and we collected 2000 US for this one. Now, the reason we went so high on the call side is because that NEO and XPeng had been basically doing nothing while all the other EV stocks have been going on a parabolic rise. And that's because that a lot of people are ignoring the Chinese section for now. And it makes sense because you never know what could happen with the Chinese stocks. But because of that, I think there's more risk for a potential squeeze to the upside. There's been a little more positivity around investing into Chinese stocks lately. XBank had some great news, beat earnings. Uh, NEO had some great news recently. So those two combined uh, with the great news, we, we could see a run that could go for a few days. And I actually bought call options on NEO. We'll talk about that one soon. But for now, uh, the end of these lines here is December 3rd. So we don't think that NEO will drop below 36 and we don't think it'll go above 49. And I'm feeling good about this trade as well. Next one here is on Rivian. We're selling the 160 strike call, 20 contracts, and we collected just over 2000 for this one, expiring in just over a week. We put this trade on Friday. Rivian having a decent day today, up one and a half percent, sitting around 120 per share. This is Rivian on the daily chart. Uh, had a nice rise and huge sell off, finding some support around that 110 to 120 dollar level. We could see some consolidation around that level. And I don't believe that in the next week we will come back up to the 160 level or make new highs. Here are the NEO calls I bought. I bought 50 contracts, the 43 strike call expiring December 17th. What I think could happen is we could see NEO trade at 46 to 49. Uh, in the beginning of December. So in the next one to two weeks. And uh, because of that, I bought 50 contracts and that was worth about 14,000 US. I'll cut the loss if I see NEO break 40 and go into the 39s again, or I'll cut the loss if uh, these call contracts are down 50%. Here's a strangle I sold on NVIDIA uh, last week. I, I just rolled down the call from the 370 strike to the 350 strike. And basically this means that I don't think that we're gonna see new highs for NVIDIA in the next one week. Uh, because we're seeing a nice uh, tech sell off, we're seeing a little correction. I think we're gonna have some chop and sideways trading for the next one, maybe two weeks. I don't really see us pushing up with that strength we had in the last weeks. We had a lot of parabolic rises in the past few weeks. I think we're gonna take a breather. If anything, have a little bit of a correction in all these stocks and see some stocks downtrend. I uh, sold 50 contracts. The strangle is a 280 put and the 350 call. And I collected 16,000 US for this one. What you're gonna see up here, if I put my mouse on this one, these were the 370 strike calls that I closed out. See, it says uh, 4,600 in the green today. Close out the 280 put, 370 short strangle. It All this means that I rolled the strangle before from 280 put and 370 call to 280 put and 350 call. Same expiration, and I just wanted to collect even more money and honestly, because of that roll, I collected an extra 5,000 US just from changing the strike from 370 to 350 on all the contracts and keeping the expiration to December 3rd. This was a trade I put on a week ago. So in total, I was in this, I'm gonna be in this trade for about two weeks and still collecting over 15,000 US uh, from this trade. This is a bigger trade of mine. Video had the crazy parabolic rise consolidation and a more parabolic rise while we're seeing bearish divergence on the RSI. So. All signs are telling like we are due to continue to come down. Could find support around the $300 level for NVIDIA. Uh, could dip below, but the likelihood of us making new highs in the next week for NVIDIA is extremely slim. So it only meant, made sense for me to roll down the 370 strike all the way up here down to the 350 strike expiring in one week. And then of course we have our uh, Tesla stock here down 43,000 on the day. And at one point I looked at this and I was down about 80,000 on the day in this one account. Across all my accounts at one point today, I was down $200,000 from Tesla stock going down, but I'm so used to it. It didn't mean anything to me. So these are all the trades I have for you today. Uh, I hope you found some value in it and leave a comment below what you think of the positions I'm in. In total, we have about 54,000 US in premium that is going to expire worthless if all of the trades I just discussed expire out of the money. As long as all of the puts and calls on the strangles 
expire out of the money in the coming week for December 3rd, then we're gonna keep all the premium. And that total premium totals just over 50,000 US. And I don't expect all of them to expire worthless. I expect to take some losses here and there, but you can quickly see how it's, it's really beneficial to take advantage of the spikes in the VIX to sell calls or sell puts to collect even more premium because when volatility contracts, then all the premium decreases. And even if the stocks don't move, a lot of the value of these, these calls and put contracts will disintegrate. And when they do, then you become even more in the profit. So I hope you found some value from a video just like this. This is how I personally make enough income to pay for more than my expenses and then use that money to reinvest into my top high conviction names. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I wanna help you achieve financial freedom in the stock market with options trading, day trading, and swing trading. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.